Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you guys a little tutorial on how I created this look. I wanted to do something that was bronzy, kind of with a dewy look on the skin. And I am very happy with how this turned out. I really, really love my makeup, but more than anything, this eyeshadow. So I recently hauled this palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is nothing new in the makeup world. It's just new to me. This is the Bella Sophia palette, and it helps create this beautiful, smoky, bronzed look. I have really been enjoying this, and I mentioned to you all when I hauled this in my Sephora haul video that I would do a tutorial using this because I just think it's that amazing. So today's video is focused around this and I also wanted to create like this kind of dewy look to the skin so I used a lot of fun products and yeah I'm really excited to share this with you guys if you are new to my channel hello I am Susana and I just love talking about makeup so please if you love makeup too consider subscribing to my channel it would really mean a lot to me it is so nice to have people view my content if this actually takes a lot more work than I initially thought it would but it's fun for me I really enjoy this and I love having communication with people that have kind of like the same passion towards makeup that I do. So do not forget to subscribe and let's go on with the tutorial. All right, so today I'm gonna to use the Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer. So this guy right here. I'm gonna stop using this one for a while, but I need to use up what I have. So I mostly only like to apply this right where I have larger pores. Just really press it in and then just kind of start blending it out. So today for my foundation, I'm gonna go back in with this Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. I really like this. I just did a full review on it. If you guys wanna check it out, um, I'm using the shade 6.0, I think it's just, yeah, 6.0 Natural. I love the finish of this foundation. I think it is so, so good. It feels and just looks very natural on the skin. Love it. All right, so I brought out two liquid bronzers, but I think I'm gonna go in with this one from Bare Minerals. It is called the Bare Pro Glow Bronzer. I have the shade Warmth. Let me shake this really good. Um, from what I remember, a little bit goes a long way. So I like to use a liquid bronzer before I go in with my concealer because sometimes I apply a little bit too much or I take it too far up. And with the concealer, I feel like I can kind of clean that up if I do get a little carried away. Actually, let me use... So I just put a little bit on my finger there, but I'm gonna pick it up with this brush that came with the Kevin Aquan. I think it's called the Balm Foundation. That foundation is no good, but the brush that came with it, I do really like. Especially for bronzing with cream or liquid products. Oh, that is so beautiful. Yeah, it's been a while since I've used this. Now with the sponge, I'm just gonna make sure that everything is blended in properly here. Just really push it in. Yeah, that bronzer is so pretty. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna keep this out. I have to use this more. That is so, so nice. Okay, for concealer, let's see. I don't think I wanna use the one I had pulled out. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer in the shade 50CP. Now I'm going to set this with the Gucci Beauty Powder. This is the pressed powder in the shade 5. 
And I'm mostly going to set my concealer and my T-zone. This, I don't find that this foundation needs to be fully set. I like it pretty much as is. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the highlight last because I'm gonna use like a cream highlight. So instead, I'm going to warm up the skin a little bit more and today I'm gonna use this Kozaz Bronza. So I wanna warm up the skin a little bit more and give it a little bit more luminosity. I think this Kozaz Bronzer is perfect for layering because it doesn't provide me with a lot of pigments. I did pick up the shade Light. And another reason why I wanna use this one is because it gives a really nice radiance. I don't know, every time I think of a bronzy look, I think of a real glowy, radiant face. Yes, I like that very much. I do, I do, mm -hmm. I do, I do. Mm -hmm. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with this Westman Atelier Super Loaded Tinted Highlighter in the shade Cutie Pesh. And this one is just so gorgeous. Just wait and see. It gives this like beautiful, almost wet looking look <laughs> to your skin. I just think it's so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. This is my favorite shade out of all the tinted highlighters from Wisman Atelier. I have all of them. They're all really beautiful, but this is just my favorite without a doubt. Okay, now for the cheeks, I'm not sure if this is going to take it overboard, but let's give it a try and see what happens. I'm gonna use this blush from um, Patrick Ta. It is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in the shade She's So LA. So applying the powder first. Now whatever's left over the bridge of the nose here. Sides. So it looks good like that, but of course, I want to use the cream portion as well. Try to go on lightly because I already have a lot of glow going on on my cheeks here. All right, so I'm pretty sure I like how this is looking. I kind of feel like it's one of those things that I won't fully know until all of my makeup is done. So let's go on to the eyes. All right, so now for the star product of today's video is this quad from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is called Bella Sophia. And oh my gosh, I loved this so much when I used it last week. I mean, I love, love, loved it. And it created a really easy, quick look. I didn't have that much time to get ready that day so it was pretty quick and I was obsessed with my eye look. So I'm gonna dip into this lighter shade. I'm gonna apply it in the inner corner of my eyes. Kind of start blending it in. Just whatever stuff I'm gonna apply here on the brow bone. Now I'm gonna pick up this kind of burgundy shade with my Smith 232 brush. And this is going to go above my crease. With a clean brush, I'm going to buff the edges. Next, I'm gonna pick up this shade. So this is a brown, but it almost has like an olive hue to it. I'm gonna apply this in the outer portion of the lid and up into the crease.
This is going to allow us to create some depth in this eye look. So back with this dark shade and a small kind of smudger brush, I'm going to line the bottom lash line. So I'm going to try picking up the pop shade. So this one right here, this is more of that bronzy deliciousness. And I'm going to try to apply it with the Sonia G Builder 2 brush. Otherwise, if I don't see that it's really doing anything for me, I'm going to have to go in with my finger. And this is going to go all over the lid. Back with the smudger brush, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this pop shade again. And I'm gonna try to apply this on the bottom lash line. Just to add some shimmeriness down here as well to kind of balance things out. I'm gonna to wanna to be careful with that though because I'm getting fallout. I'm gonna apply a liquid eyeliner. I've really been enjoying this one from um, Hank and Henry, a long wear liquid eyeliner in the shade Blackly Black. Um, it's actually a really dark brown eyeliner. I'm just lining my lash line. I do want to try to keep the eyeliner a little bit more simple because I want the eyeshadow to do all of the talking. Now for the bottom waterline, I'm going to go in with the KKW Beauty Eyeliner in the shade Copper. And for mascara, I've really been liking this badass mascara from Tom Ford. This is the sample size. So I'm going to use this for my top and bottom lashes. So for my lips, I want to keep it simple. So I'm going to use this liquid balm. This is the shade 17. All right, guys, so here is the final look. Let me know what you think about this little tutorial and the products that I use in the comments down below. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. And while you're there, do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on any of my future videos. Until next time.